Hello guys, uh, welcome back again to Maison African Motives, uh, still working on industrial electronics N2. Uh, in this platform, we are not going to waste much time. We are going to focus directly on the question paper that we had been working on. Uh, that is the January 2022 paper, whereby uh, we are now on question number five. So without wasting much time, I'm just going to quickly rush through the questions that we are given on question five. We are given that for each of the following diodes, we are given three diodes, a photo diode, and a light emitting diode, and a variactor diode. We are asked to draw their circuit symbol. That is the first part, to draw the circuit symbol, give an area where it is commonly used. That's the second thing that they need you to do to show where it is used and indicate how it should be biased. That is the third part. So for three things that we need from each, the circuit symbol, the area where it is used, and how it is biased. Okay, so we are not going to waste much time. 4.11, that uh, 5.11, that is a photodiode. Remember, a photodiode is the one that is going to take in light. So I'm just going to show you directly a uh, night, uh, nice symbol so that you can be able to understand much better. So that's a photodiode, as you can see, is taking in light. So like I said, from the previous class that we had, a photodiode, it takes in. So this one, it is to take in light which is different from uh, uh, the LED, which is the light emitting diode, which is going to be emitting light, but this one takes light. Okay, so it is used as a switch. That is where it is used. We can use this as a switch. And on the operation, on the bias, it operates under a reverse bias. So by this, you can be able to obtain three marks, one mark for the circuit symbol, one mark where it is used, and one mark for the bias that is being used uh, on a photodiode. Okay, so let's see the other part, which is 5.12, a light emitting diode, which is LED. So it an LED, it opposes a photodiode. Okay, so as you can see, now it opposes, the rays are going out, it's, it is emitting light. So this one, the rays will be going out. So that's in a light emitting diode, where it is used as a alphanumeric display in alphanumeric display if you are to check uh, those displays whereby you'll be given a uh, display such as these ones those ones are actually light emitting diodes which can be used to do these things okay so that is what we have on the light emitting diode so that display that we see there is actually a use of a light emitting diode and it operates under a forward bias like i say it actually opposes what we have on a photodiode. So if you know a photodiode, then you can be able to know a light emitting diode because it's just one and opposite to another. Okay, a variactor, uh, that one is look like a, it's a diode having part of a capacitor. So that one, please make sure that you know the sketch. So this is how it looks like. You can take any of the symbols, but as for me, I prefer the first one. This one is best for me. Uh, so it can be used as a capacitor in, in tuning circuits or turning circuits that we are going to have actually supposed to be turning circuits there. Operates under a reverse bias. Okay, it operates under a reverse bias. That is what we have. So variactor, as you can see, simple uh, symbol that we have. So we are going to move on to the other part of the question, which is on 5.2, whereby we're now given by a means of a need labeled circuit diagram. So it's a circuit diagram that we are showing and show the basic operation of an NPN. They are not saying draw an NPN transistor. This is my NPN transistor. No, 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 no. We need the basic operation of it. Using the electron current flow, show the direction of current and that's five marks for that. Okay, so uh, we are just going to have it. Answer, let's see what it looks like. So that's an NPN transistor. It's basic uh, operation construction that we have. So as we can see, we've got uh, the base, the collector, the emitter. So here for the base current, which is IB, IC, IE, this is RB, the, the base resistor, the, the resistor on the collector RC. This is the V in, or you can write as VB, and uh, this is our V out there. So that is what we have. And also according to the uh, circuit with positive, negative, We've got positive, negative, so the current is going to be flowing this way. That is why we see these arrows. And here it will be this way because we've got positive here, negative. So that's basically what we have on an NPN uh, transistor. 
So that was the question, we've got five marks for that. And the 5.3, the transducer, they are now giving us a definition. Sometimes they ask you this definition. So this is how they want you to write the definition of a transducer. The transducer is the input element of any measurement system. Name three aspects to consider when selecting a transducer. That transducer that you need, what are the aspects or what are the things that you're supposed to put in place before taking that transducer? That is the question you is asking about. Okay, just three. Okay, so I'm just going to show you mostly what the department wants you to answer these questions. So the physical quantity to be measured is the first thing that you can actually work on. The accuracy required and the converting principle, which is most suitable. So these three are very, very important when selecting or choosing a transducer. Uh, so that's what we had, guys, on question five, giving a total of 17 marks, which is something that you can obtain from this question paper. So I, like I always say, industrial electronics, I always want you guys to have the best because it's one of the easiest that you can work on and revise most theory, the diagrams, and those few calculations that we have but the best is yet to come. That is, guys, from Amazon African Motives, working on our industrial electronics and to till we meet again.